thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you, um, uh, Beth. And I, I um, like, like Liz said, I, I thank the whole team here, Trini, Meredith, Tally, um, Megan, Linda, Beth. Thank you all so much. You've been so wonderful. And thank you all for being here tonight. Um, and welcome to my new beginning. Um, so this is my very first show here, uh, finally. And um, also, like she said, uh, personally, um, I had to see my mother off uh, to the other side. Uh, she passed um, almost exactly 13 months ago uh, in Tokyo. So it's been a, a huge adjustment, a huge, huge change. And um, so literally new beginning for both me and my mother. And this is, I, um, yeah, so that's why I gave the title to, to this show, New Beginning. And this piece is called New Beginning because um, this is um, a spiritual portrait of my mother and her spaceship and her present environment. Um, and uh, I like to talk about my process, but before I get into that, are you all familiar with um, the material that I'm using, foam sheet? Uh, yeah, yeah, we have a little sample that you can touch and see what they're like. Um, they are, uh, well, basically children's uh, craft material that you can get anywhere, any, at any local art supply stores. Uh, they come in about this size sheet and about two millimeter, three millimeter thick. And I hand cut everything with scissors and put them together with super glue. And um, as for glue, um, white is very, very forgiving, but black is just so unforgiving. The, it, the, the glue just dries um, and burns white. So if you're, yes, yeah, that's the sample. Please pass it around if you're not familiar with it. Um, they, they go so white that if you're a little bit crazy like myself um, and don't want anything to bleed or show, you have to be like extremely careful with it. And, um, and making, um, oh yes, and uh, it's only been, um, re it's only recent that I was uh, actually able to use wi a wire in black pieces with black foam sheet, so which was actually that one over there. Um, but before that, it just got too messy, and I thought I could never do it. But for some, I guess, practice, or I don't know, for some reason, I was able to do this. And uh, well, speaking of black pieces, uh, making, for instance, like that, um, such a symmetrical piece like that with um, such soft, material is so, for me, very, very tough. Um, and I, and be also because I want it to um, express like calmness and peacefulness. So it was, it was really tough. But I, I didn't know that it was gonna be tough. I got myself into it but, and, I, and I, I enjoyed it, so it was okay. But anyway, um, so um, that's basically what I do with the material and um, to give you an example of my process, um, for instance, with this one, um, ever since my mother passed, um, she's been sending me, I, I, I think it's, it's her, but um, I've been sensing from her all these uh, beautiful, beautiful uh, pastel colors, um, like oh, mostly baby pinks, uh, baby pink, uh, white, and a little bit of red, and yellow and all these beautiful pastel colors suspended uh, above my benches. And, um, and a few months after when I was finally, when it was finally um, a timing for me to start making this, I thought about my mother and I asked her, so what's the key form of this piece? What's the key shape? And boom, she gave it to me. She gave me this, she gave me this shape. So uh, from then on, I decided on the, the scale of things and um, the piece of wood I wanted to use it on. And I knew that I wanted the little, her or the spaceship to be parked on it and, and then start making um, the, her environment. 
and it had to be um, a cherry tree, my version of cherry tree, uh, plum tree, uh, peach tree, because her birthday was uh, March 3rd, which is the uh, National Girls' Day in Japan, and it, and it's it's all about. Um, so she was known for um, cherry blossoms and all the the springy colors and um, all the cheerful things. So and um, and and then um, so after I knew the basic um, things like that, um, I started by making. Um, no, I started experimenting um, and searching for um, the spot-on right shapes of things, like, 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 like this part, and like how long the, the all these parts need to be, or the shape of these um, leaf-like things, and these little yellow balls, and how much, um, how many of them to use, and um, things like that, and so experimental parts after experimental parts and editing after editing voila <laughs> so and uh, so um, so I hope you can see uh, I did this with every piece and I hope you can see the um, my uh, my happy my joy and my great um, gratitude towards life um, which is which are what I really want to convey through my work and share with you, and it is my um, my unchanging motivation as an artist. Um, and the the benches are meant for you to sit on and um, be a part of my pieces and enjoy like different angles of the pieces and the space itself and your margaritas. <laughs> so uh, I hope you'll enjoy the show. Thank you. If, if you have any questions, yes, yes. Well, and, and my sort of full disclosure, kind of knows I'm a big fan of her, her but the thing that I, there's a comment, if you wanted to comment back, I love not just the pieces themselves, but the command of the space that the oh. piece has, and how it creates a space and landscape and environment around it. Like, one, and like, oh, here's a simple thing. Here's this piece, uh -huh. and it's shadow. Ah. And I'm thinking of both of them suspended with each other. And again, there's this, so when you're talking about us entering the space, so I would talk a little bit about that. This is, well, oh, to, to, yeah, if you want to comment on that, like, just a little bit about mm -hmm. how we yes. think about space or landscape. Well, I know ah. No, uh, to me, everything is a landscape. Um, like, like this, of course, and I, I'm thinking of, to, in my mind, I have a whole forest, like forest of uh, cherry blossoms and white snowy trees around it. And, and that's why I wanted um, benches um, under. And f f for like this piece, like, like here, um, this is called Moonlight. And I'm thinking about, in my, in my mind, there's a big moon, and it's like a perch for the soul, um, like, a, for, uh, like a moon viewing kind of night. So I have a landscape like that. Or, or and physically, um, uh, the, the shadows actually happened when I started working with the foam sheet. But yeah, um, and with foam sheet, I became, um, I was always, until then, I was always a painter. I always drew. I, 2D artist, um, but because of this material, I became a sculptor, uh, 3D artist, and which I I never expected. And I don't know if that um, answers your question, but yeah, all of them is a landscape to me. Yes. And how about your how you find pieces and walks uh, of, of wood? Mm -hmm. Wood pieces, the handles. Um, oh. Um, I just find them and I just p I pick up the ones that speak to me and keep them and until um, the right timing comes. It was the same with the antler shed as well. Yeah. Does that answer your question? Yeah. I thought everyone would be interested in Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you.
Structure. I get a vision. I always get a vision. Um, for example, that that one in the back. That's um, that's a portrait of my grandmother, and, and um, uh, who passed maybe like eight years ago. And uh, one day she just came to me, and she just gave me that form, and with the little very thin ch and these flying. Um, like feather like um, pieces on it um, so I try to materialize the vision that I get so do yeah. you find these branches in the forest? Uh, this I, I think if I remember correctly White Rock Lake yeah mm -hmm. and, one, and um, that piece um, I used um, a, a friend of mine uh, sent me a box of driftwood um, on, uh, that he picked up on his travels, and um, I used those. How did your style evolve like, over the years? Like, how did you, um, you say it, uh, it changed a lot, and do you see it changing a lot, kind of evolving away from what you're doing now, or do you think that you kind of found the perfect um, Well, I started by, um, I started from like birdcage like pieces and then I got kind of um, tired of, I got all the, all, all the images of the birdcage, birdcages out of my system and I got, I got kind of bored, of, bored so, uh, and I wanted to do something that uh, didn't really uh, involve balance which I was really wrong, I was wrong about that, but, um, and I didn't have to be so symmetrical. Um, and so I started incorporating wood, and I, I kind of, that was kind of liberating for me. And um, so I guess you can say um, it, the, the change has been very subtle in a way, but it has definitely changed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does that answer your question? Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. I think the first time I saw your work was about two years ago, I think, uh -huh. at the art fair. Like oh, okay. Right with the white. The large yes. white. Yes. And um, uh, that was amazing. Oh. The scale. Thank I you. mean, just in every way. Wow, this is so yeah. clear. But how, how is it different than that? That uh, certainly reference talk about chandeliers, light like fixtures, and so forth. Thank you. Yay!